Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Rosette. In today's video, we're going to be doing an all true unboxing. But before we get into today's video, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any portion of this video. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I'm doing and comment down below. Say hi, I say hi back. And without any further ado, let's get into today's video. Today's video, we're gonna be going over the summer and fall all true box subscriptions that I received in 2021. I know that I am very late into posting these videos for this unboxing, but I thought better late than never. I also kind of wanted to explain what an ethical and sustainability mean. So All True had a big rebranding in 2021. They were for formerly known as Cosbox and now they are known as All True. And what they do with these subscription boxes that they ship out on a quarterly basis, and if you don't know what a quarterly basis means, it just means every three months. The year is broken down into four quarters total to make up one full year. So you have January through March, April through June, July through September, and October through December. And so those are like the each quarter so it's like the first quarter second quarter third quarter fourth quarter and that's essentially what makes up you know different quarters of the year which can also be divided up into seasons spring summer fall and winter essentially that is kind of how they ship out everything and then the products that are in these subscription boxes are from ethical and sustainable brands meaning that they're from brands that not only pay their workers fair wages and give them a working environment that is safe but also that the materials that these products are made out of are from recyclable packaging or earth-friendly packaging, or they're just products that are gonna be able to be reused instead of having like a one-time use and then you throw it away. So that's just like a quick and easy version of what ethical and sustainability means in terms of brands. And typically with ethical and sustainable brands, they should have transparency as to how they are ethical and how they are sustainable within their website, within their social media platforms, and etc. So first things first, before we get into all these products, I'm going to show you guys the process of me choosing what is in my subscription box. Disclaimer, this is not gifted in any way, shape, or form. I paid for this subscription with my own money and I'm sharing with you my experiences of opening these boxes and kind of what I think initially of the product and if I would use it or not. They're not sponsoring this video. This is not gifted in any way, shape or form. I fully paid for this with my own money. <laughs> Altru has no idea who I am. I'm just doing these videos because I really do want to get into sharing more sustainable and ethical brands um, with y'all. And I plan on doing more of that this year as well. And because I'm trying, I'm on a journey of myself of trying to shop more ethically and more sustainably with my own purchases in my life. So yeah, let's show the process of me choosing these products. And then we're going to get into the individual boxes here so we are going to start the summer box 2021 customization for all true so i'm going to press start customizing and my first product choice is between the stone bracelet or the hours travel cutlery set i'm going to view details of the stone bracelet Ooh. So it's an ethical swap for a classic sparkly staple. That's the thing. I, with the materials, I'm allergic to a lot of things. And so I can only really do stainless steel or real gold. So I am going to go with the cutlery set. And oh, I can add the other choice at an amazing price for $9. I'm just going to skip because I don't really need to do that. Ooh, okay. So I really, I really like the bamboozle nesting bowls. Those are really cute. But I already have bowls. And I feel like the hydrating nautical cooler is going to be great. And I just don't need a towel. 
So I'm gonna go with the cooler. So there's a retinol serum and a mattifying moisturizer. Let's view the details of the retinol serum. Oh, it's plant-based. That's the thing. Oh, and it's an $80 value. They're both $80 for the moisturizer and the serum. I, I'm just really interested in the retinol because I feel like the moisturizer is great and my skin always does well with moisturizers. I'm just concerned about the retinol. But I mean, I wear sunscreen all the time, so I should be fine. I really want to try the retinol. I, I think I'll go with the retinol. But you can also get the moisturizer for $11. I'm going to do that. I think I'll do the moisturizer as well. Ooh. So the way of will, I had this brightening face serum and it is great, but I'm the type of person who's very minimal with their skincare. So I'm not going to get the retinol because I don't know how that's going to react with the face serum. So I'm going to go with the moisturizer instead. I'm going to go back, get the moisturizer, and then I'm going to get the Face of Will Serum because it is a vitamin C serum. And I personally just don't know enough about like vitamin C and retinol, so I'm just not going to do it. I think that's safe to say. Oh my gosh, all of these options are really cute. Okay, so the last options are the golden and pine waffle dis dish cloths which absolutely love reduce to go bowl oh so you can really use it like a soup or whatever so it's not really like a mug like it really is a bowl packing cubes i already have packing cubes so i think i'm good i have a hammock so i'm good on the hammock i really like the dish cloth so i think i'm going to go with that Oh. Hey guys, so I'm going to put myself on a smaller portion of the screen so you can see the options that I'm making for the fall all true box and let's go through this customization process. So first things first, for the first uh, three options I can either choose from the silicone and beechwood measuring spoon set, the natural wool dryer balls which it comes in a set of three, or the Hydra Repair Day Cream. I am going to choose the Hydra Repair Day Cream, but I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the details just so you can kind of see um, what it's saying here. So it is a silicone and beechwood measuring spoon set, has a $15 value, and it kind of just talks a little bit about why you would want to use this set um, since it is more sustainable. It talks about how it's heat resistant and when it talks about the um, ingredients here, it's mainly just telling you what the product is made out of. So you can see that it's 100% silicone for the one fourth to one teaspoon, and then the it's and then the one tablespoon is made out of 100% beechwood. And you just get a couple pictures of the measuring spoons in action here. I currently already have a measuring uh, spoon set, so that's the reason why I'm not choosing this one. The uh, Molly Suds wool dryer balls. These kind of tell you like the reason why you would want to choose this option because it's going to provide you with lower energy cost and consumption by up to 30%. It's also like telling you how it's more sustainable than dryer sheets. And with the ingredients, it kind of just tells you what it's made out of. So it's 100% New Zealand wool, uh, a little muslin bag, and then talking a little bit about the company and kind of what they stand for. Um, and yeah, and how it's like vegan products and how they make sure that their products are sourced with absolutely no cruelty. They are also certified cruelty free by Leaping Bunny, which is really cool. But I currently have dryer balls that I bought from Trader Joe's and I don't need another set and I think they do a really good job. So that is the reason why I'm not choosing them. The Hydra Repair Day Cream by Grown Alchemist 
kind of just want to see like what this is about. It's the only product in here that I think I would be willing to use. I mean, I'm more than willing to have another <laughs> moisturizer, but I can also gift this to someone. For healthy, hydrated, happy skin, this dreamy day cream from Grown Alchemist will do the trick. A medley of all natural ingredients gives this cream its superpowers. So it kind of goes into like how it has jojoba oil, which is really good for your skin. It tells you the value of the product. It has a $49 value. And it gives you a list of ingredients in here of every single thing that is on there. Since you might not be able to see that from the pictures that they provide of the product, you can get it in the how to use section. I think is great that they list out all the ingredients that are in this product. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Mainly because I don't think any of my friends either would need this, these two gifted to them. And if I weren't to use this repair day cream, I could at least gift it to someone. So that is my first customization. The next set are, we have this small hour set of five stackable pantry uh, containers. We have a vegan leather two in one everyday tote, a smart heated mug, earth a harbor sea sees the day luxury skincare bundle and we have the wonderless portable speaker so again it kind of gives you a little bit of detail here especially with like the usage how much charging the value um, for this portable speaker and then we can go into the skincare product which honestly, like, it looks really great. Has an $80 value. Cleansing oil. But it's not the one that's catching my eye out of all of these. I definitely really like that there is a smart heated mug, which has a $65 value. Because in the winter and in the fall, I definitely drink a lot of tea. Like, a lot of tea. And to kind of keep it warm is great. But honestly, it's not, I don't really need this uh, smart heated mug. And in terms of the bag, I think it's really cute and really beautiful, but I already have enough purses and so I don't need it. <laughs> it has a $130 value. It gives you the details of how large the bag is and it tells you what the bag is made out of and how it has like sustainable alternatives that are made without solvents removing harmful and toxic chemicals from the manufacturing process which i think is really really great the one that i'm going to go with is the stackable pantry containers because i've honestly had my eye on having some organization within my pantry and I'm really excited that this is an option and I love that I can just, you know, use this for like baking items. So it's like a pretty pantry goals and a sustainable swap. It has a $50 value, which I think is great. You get a set of five. So you get a couple small ones, a couple medium ones, and then one large one. And yeah, it's made out of silicone, BPA free, polyacetylene. It doesn't really give you the like measurements of these uh, stackable containers, but they look great enough. And then also something that's on here, um, as you can see on my screen, it's showing that you can add something for $24. And so even though it has like these separate values of like, this is worth $130, I could add it for $24. I might end up doing that to give us gifts to people, to be quite honest with you. The next option we have are the Bamika Manta hair towel wrap. I think this towel wrap is really, really nice. It has a $22 value, made out of 40% bamboo, 60% recycled polyester and the elastic band is made from recycled polyester. It looks great. It looks like it's really long. Honestly, I really do like it, but I have a hair towel wrap already. I'm very much like the person who is, if I already have something and it works well, I don't need to replace it, especially if it's not like 
damage. So because I already have it, I'm not gonna buy it. <laughs> I'm not gonna add it to my box. But the Seaweed Collagen Gold Eye Masks, I am going to choose this one and I'm gonna view the details for this. So you apply it for about 20 minutes. I love that it has collagen in it because I'm all about you know, that youthfulness, trying to be as youthful. It has hyaluronic acid, it has vitamin C. Vitamin C is actually supposed to be paired with uh, collagen because it, collagen and vitamin C just work really well together and they help enhance each other. So I'm glad that those two are in there together. It has a lot of hydrating ingredients in here, which I think is very necessary for under the eyes to kind of help with that puffiness. And yeah, so I'm gonna go with this as my selection. You can see here, like, if I wanted to add it again, I could add it for $7. So we have headbands, uh, a necklace set, and a mascara. So for the headbands, it's a set of two, has a $35 value. They are printed. They're really cute, actually. But I'm not really into these type of headbands, especially when they kind of just stop. Because they look hard as well, and I need something that is like gonna be very soft if I'm gonna put it on my head because my head gets very ir irritated easily if it feels like it's being too constricted. I know I wear braids all the time. That only lasts for like the first couple days, the tightness, but it's more so like when something is really like tight against my skull, that's when I get headaches. So I prefer not to use headbands. Um, I think they are really cute on other people, and I do like wearing them, but unfortunately, they do my head in, I'm, so I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna go with these. And they tell you what it's made out of, which I think is really cool. I am really liking this uh, layering necklace set, but I am worried about the uh, what it's made out of. I am very much a person who's sensitive to fake jewelry, my body reacts very quickly. I can't do the nickel stuff. I can't do that hyper, like I need that 24 karat gold, <laughs> the sterling silver, that type of stuff because my skin just has a reaction to like fake metals. It just, my body rejects them automatically. I'll get like discoloration on my hands, on my neck, on my ears. My ears get really itchy. So I personally can't do it. But this one, it is made with 14 karat gold plated steel. This duo is hyperallergenic and free of nickel, which I just said I can't have nickel. Um, and reuse the pouch packaging as a travel jewelry case or a minimalist card carrier. It has a $25 value. If I press down here, yeah, gold plated steel. So I think I'll actually go with this option because the fact that I can wear that is great. And the vegan mascara kind of tells you what this uh, mascara does. It has argan oil, rice, and orange peel, which is really cool. It has a $26 value. And then again, it lists out all of the ingredients in the mascara, which I think is great. And then the final option. So we have a welcome mat. A jute welcome mat by a company. Uh, it just says welcome on there, which I think is really cool. And it's made out of 100% jute material and black nylon thread. I think this is really cute, but I currently already have a welcome mat, so I'm not gonna get that. Oh my gosh, this is so great. I'm totally getting the diffuser. I have been wanting a diffuser for the longest time and the color is great. Like the color is perfect. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be quick. So it's an essential oil diffuser that you can take with you. It is water free. It's small enough to fit in your car's cup holder, which is great. And it comes with and it comes with an Inspire essential oil, which is a blend of six vibrant scents: lemon, blood orange, orange lime, geranium, and eucalyptus, which I think is great. And it has like these little pads, these paper pads that I think you just put the yeah, so you put the essential oil on top and then you put it into the diffuser and then it will diffuse the oil. I have been wanting this for such a long time, but I 
the prices out there for a lot of them are kind of crazy. I'm just like, oh, that's a lot. This one is valued at $30, but I'm just glad that it's included in this box. And then we have the final option, which is the speckled ceramic candle. I have a lot of candles currently, so it's not like I really, really need this one, but this one, it burns for 35 to 45 hours. Persimmon, red currant, and coba, and mandarin are some of the scents that are in this one. It's made of 100% soy wax, cotton wick, and a fragrance oil. It looks super cute, but I have a lot of candles, and so I'm just not going to go through and choose another one. All right, so I showed you guys me going through and picking these products and I'm going to share with you what is first up in the summer box. I'm <laughs> trying not to like drop it, but this is the summer all true box. And it comes with like this seasonal guide for conscious living. It's really cute, like the packaging. One thing I really love about these All Tree subscription boxes is that the color scheme is always gonna just be pulling in from one another. And so even the products and the colors that are within the products kind of match the theme of the box. And I know that's something that they take pretty seriously at All Tree. They'll talk about kind of the graphic design of the boxes themselves because they are really beautiful and then they also have like little postcards that you can save and use and all that stuff so yeah we have a little guide we have the explore the guide to exploring the summer box which i find this this is new i feel like because before they would share it kind of like in a magazine type of situation but then have it was just like a lot more information into who the brand is which i think is great but i think it's nice to just have like a quick easy little guide so you just know like what is in the box and then because this is the summer 2021 all true box they did like a little introduction of you know the new name the new look and all that stuff which is really exciting and yeah just letting you know like why they wanted to change and like what is behind the name and stuff like that so i'll leave a link in case you want to look them up or see what all true is about and also what's great recyclable packaging across the board so that is awesome. First up are these waffle knit dish cloths from Golden and Pine. And it says this bag is recyclable. So this plastic bag is recyclable, which is great. Ooh, it comes with like a little pouch. So I guess this is where you can like roll up the little washcloths and put them in there. It feels like really good, like thick material, which I love. Their waffle knit dishcloths were transparently sourced, sustainably dyed, and ethically woven by artisans in India. This product is designed to last uh, when properly cared for. Follow below care instructions to enjoy these towels for years to come. So basically you have to wash on delicate, on gentle cycle, and lay flat to dry. Do not tumble dry. Golden and Pine is an ethical home and lifestyle boutique and interior design studio that shares a story behind every design helping you purchase with purpose and promote social good around the world. They feel like really good quality and also the colors like this is more of a burnt orange and this is kind of like I don't know like a sagey minty green and then you know you have like a darker green and then like this terracotta pink kind of color. They're really really nice and great quality and I love reusing like having reusable items to wash my dishes with. I use the brushes a lot from Ikea 
And so I think this is going to be great. I kind of feel like I want to save this for when I have my own place um, before I start using them. So I really do like them a lot. And the fact that you can just like roll it up and put it in this little pouch is so cute. Look at that. That's so cute. The next thing is the on-the-go cutlery set. It has a knife, fork, spoon, and a travel case. This is by Small Hours and stainless steel, silicone, plastic-free, BPA, BPS-free, and dishwasher safe. Every day we empower people to eliminate single-use products and build healthier habits for themselves and the planet. It was designed in California and made in China. Let's see if I can open this. I have like, oh, that's so smart. Okay, so they have this little like thing here. So it makes it easier to open. I feel like this would be really good if you camp a lot, which I do not do. Um, but also if you are just like, traveling quite a bit and you're in a place that doesn't have like you know utensils that you can easily use or something I don't know I, I just I like that it's like this on the go situation I I mean I definitely want to go camping more but I'm honestly not sure if I would use this I feel like I want to gift this for someone and that's something that i really like about these all true boxes is that a lot of the times not a lot of the times but there's on occasion where there's something in there that i just don't out of the options i'm just like this one is the best one or maybe i think of someone that i can gift this to so i feel like i can really gift this to someone who will make really good use out of it a new name in the sustainability game, Small Hours seeks to empower individuals to change their consumption habits so we can begin to right the environmental wrongs we've committed. Their first goal is to eliminate single-use products from our kitchens, bathrooms, purses, cars, and ultimately our vocabulary entirely. They believe sustainability can be pursued any hour of any day and that tiny changes in everyday habits can have a large and long-lasting impact. Their beautiful alternatives to single-use products are, highly qual are high quality and super convenient. No compromises necessary. Next up, we have the Way of Will Face Serum. It's for brightening, revitalizing, smoothing, helps with dark spot, reducing complexion, toning, and tissue repairing. I have received this in a past cause box. I'm pretty sure it was the summer one, and I really liked it, which is why I chose it again. It is great. Excuse the fact that my nail popped off. Um, pop off sis <laughs> but yeah I'm really excited to use this again I thought it was a really great product my skin got along with it so well so I'm excited to use that next up we have this Hanalei probably saying that wrong but it's the Hawaiian lip balm trio honestly I thought this would be bigger or maybe my hands are just massive I mean I do have pretty big hands yeah I would say that's like a normal size chopstick see that so you get three here which is great so you get one that's unscented Island Mint and the Citrus, Tropical Citrus. They are all vegan, which I love, and it has SPF 15. I actually ran out of my car lip balm. I know that sounds weird to say that it's my car lip balm, but I always have lip balm in almost every purse, bag, any item that I'm traveling with and in my car because my lips get dry and I hate having dry lips so having this is super super handy and helpful and it's cruelty free they're hawaiian they're made, they're they're from they're based in honolulu hawaii which is so cool 
I love that. And the packaging is like just so small and cute. I mean, it, it like fits perfectly in the palm of my hand, which is great. But also like I have, I have massive, massive hands. Kenale was founded by two entrepreneurs from New York City who now call the Hawaiian Islands home. Formulated to nourish all skin types, their products are steeped in a deep love and respect for Hawaii and are made using island-grown, sustainably sourced ingredients. To give back, they also partner with Akamai Foundation, an organization that encourages the next generation of technology innovators by supporting STEM education. So then we have the... Cosmetics Skin Thirst Moisturizing Hyaluronic Acid Cream. It's a two ounce. This is what it looks like. And I'll definitely do cutaways too. Yeah, we have a moisturizer. So I mix, this is PETA approved, which is really cool. When cosmetics first started, its founders noticed that people with deeper skin tones often had fewer options as many ingredients mess with their melanin. So they formulated cosmetics products to work with your skin tone, not against it. Then we have this kind of like weekender bag. And it comes in this plastic packaging. It doesn't say if it's recyclable or not but it's pretty big it's a nice like navy blue dark blue Ooh, and it's like insulated that is perfect it's honestly the size that i was expecting it to be which is really good but they like folded it in half in the box so you thought you think it's smaller but it's like taking up the entire screen like it's and the quality feels so good and amazing. I'm really excited to use this. It has a little pocket here in the front. And the zipper is not bad. I prefer a bigger zipper. It's kind of small just because my hands are, are big. So like having something that's easier to grasp onto um, is something that I always prefer, but it still feels like really good quality. So this is the, it's by a brand called Mana Hydration and it's the Nautical Cooler, <laughs> the Nautical Cooler Tote. And so Mana Hydration is always striving to do better, better design, better materials, better ways to keep you hydrated. They manufacture their water bottles ethically and, res and responsibly using at least 2000 times less energy and 75% less water than single use bottles. Their facility recycles 90% of the water used in production. A New York City based company, a portion of proceeds are donated to local causes and organizations. The S Summer All True Artist was by Jordan Amy Lee. She is a London-based illustrator whose work incorporates bold colors, stripped back compositions, and delicate textures. From Tate Modern exhibits to the eye-catching colors on vintage cereal boxes, she finds inspiration in sources both unlikely and expected, often drawn to design rather than traditional art. With music as her muse, Jordan's bold designs incorporate a handcrafted touch. And that is everything in the Summer Altru box. So I was actually looking through this magazine and it's actually a seasonal guide for conscious living. So it has like tips that you could use, little ideas. Like this one is like, you know, making a face mask. Just like, you know, how you can recycle your clothes and stuff like that. Yeah, it just has a lot of different little ideas in this magazine. Let's get into the fall Altru box, which I'm really excited about. So we have the next box here. I'm really excited for everything that's in this box because of the containers. All right, so we have the seasonal guide for conscious living, which I'm very excited about. I love her. You can follow her on Instagram. She is a chef. Her name is Sophia Rowe. She's also an activist. So I know that she's gonna have some recipes up in here. They just have like really cute stuff in here. Kind of 
share a little bit as to like what I see. Beautifully curated images and like recipe ideas, ways to live a little bit more conscious. I'm excited for that. I'm excited to kind of collect those. And then again, we get the postcard, the little quick guide to this fall ultra box, and then the products inside. So first things first, I'm not going to lie to you. I opened this box when I got it and started wearing the jewelry that was inside of it. So I'll just give you my honest thoughts. I really like this jewelry. It has not turned my neck a different color because if you know me, you know that I have an allergy to like a lot of different metals and your girl can only really do real gold or sterling silver. So this, these like necklaces are super cute and they are from Each Jewels, which is great. And they're 14 karat gold plated necklaces. And they are designed with love in New York, made in Vietnam. And yeah, I just keep them in my jewelry box that I got from Ana Luisa, which is an another ethical and sustainable brand that you guys should check out. I'll leave their information down below. But I guess we'll start with the jewelry since I already opened it. It's back to basics. These dainty necklaces are made for layering, designed with adjustable length to pair with your favorite pieces, including your wear everywhere classic pendant, delicate and minimalist, wear both together as a set or mix and match with the rest of your jewelry box. It's made with 14 karat gold plated steel. This duo is hypoallergenic and free of nickel. Reuse the pouch packaging as a travel jewelry case or a minimalist card carrier. Made by women led artisan team in Vietnam, this project helped employ 96 female jewelers, 10 of which hold senior management positions. Next item is the Huna, Huna, not really sure how to say their name, but it's the Skin Nutrition Balm Vegan with organic mango butter, pomegranate, avocado, carrot, broccoli, and chia seeds. I really need to stop saying mango like I'm fully American. It's mango. <laughs> That's how I say it typically. I don't know why I say it with an American accent. The Huna Skin Care. It's a Nourish Skin Nutrition Balm. It's made with nourishing natural ingredients. This nourishing balm soothes dry, damaged, dehydrated skin and protects healthy skin from the elements. A non-comedogenic formula. Try it as a nighttime treatment for dry areas such as elbows, knees, ankles, or feet. A new for all true formula this version of the nourish skin balm is fully vegan substituting candelilla wax for their usual beeswax so the founder heather believes in harnessing the natural potent powers of plants as strong proponents of science-backed skincare they are one of the only green beauty brands to partner with a university their local university of manitoba's richardson center of functional foods and nutraceuticals to work on research and production all huna skincare products are made with organic cruelty free botanicals harvested from the nutrition garden on the huna farm in british columbia canada it comes in really great packaging it feels kind of heavy which is nice and it's like glass but like that matte glass look and i'm gonna just smell it Ooh, Ooh it smells it smells so when it's so and it like melts immediately like it holds the bomb shape but like as soon as that touches your skin it melts immediately i am so excited to use this i love that it gives like a nice sheen to the skin which i can appreciate next up is the diffuser and oil so it's orange lime and lemon yeah Definitely smells like that. It's an it's an oil diffuser you can take with you. The Serene House Ion Fan Diffuser is water free and small enough to fit in your car's cup holder. We worked with Serene House to reduce the amount of packaging required for this product, so you'll find all eight paper pads together inside one plastic cartridge. 
Each paper pad is good for 10 to 15 uses, depending on how much oil you use. Formulated to help you find your creative spark, the Inspire Essential Oil Blend combines six vibrant scents, lemon, blood orange, orange, lime, geranium, and eucalyptus. Love that. I'm most likely going to give that away because I guess when I was choosing the product, I didn't think it was going to be as small. And that was kind of the main reason why I chose it is because I thought it was going to be bigger. I'm sure it works really great, but I'm just going to give it away to someone who can use it and like it. We have the Grown Alchemist Hydra Repair Day Cream Camellia Geranium Blossom. So I'm assuming this is like a hand cream. What is this? What is it? Hydra Repair Day Cream. For healthy, hydrated, happy skin, this dreamy day cream from Grown Alchemist will do the trick. A medley of all natural ingredients give this cream its superpowers. The chameleon and rosehip oil leaves skin visibly dewy while aloe vera revitalizes and softens. Triglycerides from jojoba oil help your skin find its natural balance while the sugarcane noticeably soothes and repairs sun damage. Finally, the may blossom helps your skin find its sebum sweet spot, balancing naturally occurring oils. So it's formulated to work with our body's natural reaction instead of against them. Grown Alchemist uses ingredients that are compatible with human biology and have created some absolute cult classics among the skincare. So I'm really, I love the packaging. I like how it is pretty minimal and it's, it says like Australian certified, uh, toxic free. And it talks about like this cellular renewal. Ooh. So like, it, the packaging feels really, really good, and it's certified toxic-free, that's for sure. It's vegan certified, and it's cruelty-free, which is amazing. A hydrating repair day cream for your face and for your neck. I... The thing is... I like this, but I have oily combination skin. So for me, creams that I really like are like gel-based creams, and I just don't know if it's a gel-based cream. And so the packaging feels really, really nice and beautiful. So I might just give this to someone else just because, I mean, I'm going to see if it's like a, a cream gel type of thing. I'm going to look that up online to see if it is, but if it's not, that I'm gonna give it away. I don't wanna open it and give it away to someone. I want it to be like fully closed before just giving it away to someone because you know, hygiene's and everything. But it feels like the packaging is very sleek and minimalistic and just like you know it's recyclable. And it says it here on the bottom that it is recyclable. So, and it's positive luxury. Ooh, I love that. And it's earth-friendly, recyclable aluminum. So that is great. I really, I really like the way this brand looks and feels, like, without even trying the product itself. But I like that. I feel like I could give that. The next item we have here, and it's encased in plastic, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but... These are the seaweed collagen eye treatment masks. They have 24 pure nanoactive gold um, with hyaluronic acid. I feel like now that time has passed since me picking these items and me like receiving them, I realize, you know, metals shouldn't really be going on our face like that. Like, I don't know. Can I open this thing? But it is encased in plastic, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but it's probably just to protect in case like any liquid spills, I'm guessing. I'm not really sure. So first off, no synthetic fra fragrances, paraben free, petroleum free, and no harsh chemicals. That is great. And it's going to eliminate, deeply hydrate, and reduce the appearance of fine lines, dark circles, and eye bags. I mean, I chose this because I love a good eye mask. And it's, respon Ooh. it's responsibly sourced, cruelty-free, vegan, and, nutri and nutrient-rich. Oh! Wow! 
wow, you can really smell the product as soon as you open it. So it says for best result, refrigerate eye mask for 30 minutes to an hour before application. Do not freeze and use this for about 15 to 20 minutes and then pat the remaining serum and then you can follow it with your favorite eye cream but obviously use it on dry skin clean skin and it comes with quite a lot makes me feel like i'm rich <laughs> but yeah the packaging's interesting um but it is recyclable packaging so that's great and it has an expiration date so that is really cool and the packaging honestly like the box that it comes in it feels nice and i like that it's like sleek kind of minimalist packaging but it's mint biology I'm gonna read a little bit about them so seaweed collagen gold eye mass reformulated especially for all true we swap seaweed collagen into replace the animal molecule counterpart not only does this make the product fully vegan research indicates that seaweed collagen benefits are greater than their animal derived alternative it's effective luxurious and cruelty free love that for us and the final one comes in this massive box it's almost as big as the other box it's sustainable beautiful high quality homewares as soon as i saw this option i was like i'm get i'm getting this Okay, ooh, okay. These are so cute. So to be honest, I thought these were gonna be a lot bigger. Like, I was assuming that they would be a lot larger, but that is okay. I'm gonna take out this cardboard. I love that it's cardboard packaging. Oops. But it's like a hard plastic. I'm sure it's made out of like, recyclable materials because it is a sustainable brand tops feel really just nice silicone tops and i like the color i like that it's like pretty neutral as well so it's by small hours instead of five stackable pantry containers these stackable pantry containers will help you get all those rogue packaged goods in order, keeping food fresh and selves organized. They're also perfect for bulk shopping. Just bring an empty container with you and fill it with your grains, oats, snacks, or flour. No additional plastic packaging required. Tear weights, aka the weight of the container with nothing in it, are listed below. So the small ones are 2.16 ounces, the medium ones are 3.84 ounces, the large one is five ounces, and these are without the lids, that's how much they weigh. You can give this to your cashier when you check out so they can deduct from the product weight, which that's honestly really, really thoughtful. I love that. A new name in the sustainability game, Small Hours wants to eliminate single-use products from our kitchens, bathrooms, purses, cars and ultimately our vocabulary entirely they believe sustainability can be pursued any hour of any day and that tiny changes in everyday habits can have large long-lasting impact so the materials are good i would say it feels like hard plastic to me yeah i think it is hard plastic but it is sustainably made and it also comes in sustainable packaging which is really great and the silicone um, lids feel like really good quality i feel like having like storage items that are like in this hard plastic material are good in the fact that if they do fall they're not likely to break as much as glass is going to so i do like it and i like that the color is pretty neutral it's pretty clean um and a cream color and it's like clear like you can fully it's not like warped in any way like you can fully see through to the other side which is you know hello from the other side um which is great is it snowing outside all right that is everything that i have received in these all true subscription boxes and from the summer and fall collection overall i really like majority of the products there's a couple that i might just give away just because there's some that I just can't foresee myself using every, like, all the time. And I feel like for myself, if I'm going to 
buy these, I should either be able to use them or gift them to other people. So I would say these all true boxes are worth it in that if there is something that you don't like, you can choose something, at least if you do the year, the annual subscription one, which saves you a little bit of money, but you are paying a little bit more upfront. You can still choose, you can like customize your box to choose maybe the colors or even options. Whereas if you just do like the one time only box, you kind of get what you get and don't throw a fit type of situation. Whereas I find with the annual one, you can at least choose the ones that you want to essentially use, which I like because then if there's something that I'm not fully gonna get on with, I can at least think of other people in my life to be like, hmm, this would be a good gift for them and I'm gonna gift this to them maybe when their birthday comes or even just because you don't have to have a day as a cause of celebration, you can just make any day a cause for celebration. So there's that. I definitely do think it's worth it. And also it introduces you to a lot of ethical and sustainable brands and cruelty-free brands, which is really great. And it kind of gets you thinking of things that you may have that you're like, oh, I wasn't, I didn't have like an ethical or sustainable choice for this item in my home. And now I do. And now I can, you know, kind of get back to the environment a little bit with this. So I definitely think they are worth it, at least for the annual one. Whereas the one time box one, you can't customize as much. But again, do what is affordable for you and do what makes the most sense for you. This is just me showing you what I got and kind of my initial thoughts and reactions to the products that I chose and what I ended up receiving that might have surprised me along the way. So there's that. I'm really excited um, to kind of go through. I will say like a lot of these items that I have received, maybe like purses or you know, just like cleaning items or laundry stuff, like things in the past, either I've used them a lot or I've given them to other people as gifts. And so they find a use for people. So I definitely do like them and I'm really excited to use a lot of these products, especially like the skincare stuff. Like when I do get them, I use them up all the way because typically like my skin, I don't have sensitive skin. I'm just going to just gonna say that I don't suffer with sensitive skin so I don't get reactions like that that often my skin is pretty tough but I do have to be mindful that like if it is something that's meant for drier skin meaning it's a heavy cream my skin does not like that because it just gets easily clogged that's like the only thing that really happens is that I get like you know those like little white bumps and textured skin and I, I don't like that I'm trying to have a smooth skin as possible uh, with minimal texture if I can. So there's that. Anyways, I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked any part of this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I am doing and comment down below. Say hi. I say hi back and I will see you in the next one. Bye.